Okay, so the story so far is we're trying to figure out what uh, happened with um, the secret space program. And in the first part, I talked about how uh, the story is that uh, Nazi Germany during World War II, the 1940s, was working on an anti-gravity machine. And then what they did is when they perfected the anti-gravity machine, they uh, installed it on uh, German submarines. And because submarines were were, um, airtight, watertight, they made perfect vessels to uh, convert to use uh, to go to space. And you have to remember that um, anti-gravity took all of the weight of the enormous number of tons of steel that went into these German U-boats. So you didn't have to worry about the weight, and uh, it was watertight, and it was already tested underwater, so you knew that these were good ships, and uh, then you could um, uh, use anti-gravity to float them out to the edge of Earth's atmosphere. But then the issue was, how did you get them from the edge of Earth's atmosphere to a very vast distance to the moon? And uh, the idea we had was, Well, it might be difficult to use rockets because of the enormous amount of rocket fuel you need. Um, But possibly, hard to say. And then we started considering ion drive, which uh, has been viewed on our internet as something that they're working on in labs, which means they could have been working on it labs decades ago. Uh, In the 1940s, could they have done ion drive? It's hard to say, very hard to say, very secret. And then we thought about warp drive, but no one has given me any information on how to create a warp drive. Uh, But the idea was that the Germans got all this information, not from themselves, but from extraterrestrials, which they contacted using a bunch of psychics in the Thule Society, T-H-U-L-E, they had some other secret societies that were full of psychics and they were bringing in Tibetans who are known to be very good meditators and psychics. So they were using psychic means to contact extraterrestrials who uh, sent the ideas and the blueprints to the Germans on how to do all this advanced technology. And if you want to know more about the story, you can go on to... Mm, maybe it's YouTube, maybe it's Amazon. Look up a movie. It's pretty new, the, and it's called Above Majestic. It's a Corey Good and David Wilcock production, and it uh, starts off with these uh, flying submarines using anti-gravity leaving Earth and going to the moon. That's as far as I got in watching the movie, so I can't give you a full review, but it will bring you up to date on all the secrets that uh, are being used by the entertainment division of the military-industrial complex, which is David Wilcock and Corey Good. Um, yes, the military does want you to know about these things, and so they're secretly disclosing it through this fringe commentator, David Wilcock, and um, his fringe movie, but it is available, and you heard it from me. You can go there and rent it for $3.99. Uh, how is it going to help you in your day-to-day life? Um, well, David Wilcock hopes that they're going to adapt some of these technologies to replace fossil fuel. We will wait and see.